more than FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Froome in the FA Trophy. Adam, how are you feeling going ahead to this one? Uh, yeah, it's a mix or bag really. We've had mixed mixed results really now in the last sort of three weeks. I think there's been some really good performances, um, but ultimately, you know, um, results wise, they've been a bit indifferent. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to, like I said, just hoping on Tuesday night really to, to find a bit of momentum in terms of in terms of that results. Um, like I say, I think the majority of of the performances have been good of late. Um, there's definitely something for us to, to build on there. Um, just ironing out the fine details, but um, yeah, looking at, at the game back and looking at um, the goals we conceded, um, I think you know there's a bit of work for us to to, to work on and, and, and to put right, and you know that's what we're going to look to do. So yeah, I think when you're in a sort of run like this, you you want the next game to come, and you know we've got no hiding place. We've got. Um, a lot of games coming up, um, and like looking at the weather forecast, it's only going to get more chaotic. Uh, moving up to the sort of Christmas period, so yeah, it'd be a good good time to find um, a run of of, of results now. And uh, yeah, ultimately that's what we've got to look to look to do. I suppose it's quite good as well to step away from league action following those couple of games in the in the league FA Trophy. How are you feeling for it this season? The first stage for us to step into it. How are you feeling for the competition as a whole? Yes, obviously, um, I think Hornchurch of um, a couple of years ago getting to the to the final and, and winning the trophy um, from the league below us have, have shown that it can be done, and I think it gives any um, you know team from Eastern Premier upwards um, a chance to to take their fans to Wembley, um, and you know all the time you got that as an incentive. You've got to really, really go for it, and um, yeah, we we're obviously very, very disappointed with um, going out in the, the FA Cup. In terms of, we had a big crowd, you know, um, travelled far, give up a lot of time and effort, and we feel that you know on the day we probably didn't do enough to win the game, and you know we left disappointed with. How we've performed in front of those those fans that have travelled. So, yeah, we're we're keen to to have a good cup run in, in the trophy. But you know, like I said, um, you know, I'll say East from Premier upwards. Um, you know, you've got Frome as well that have played a lot of um, games already to get to this round, and they'll be they'll be buoyant and, and really looking forward to it. Yeah, they've already had to play four games to get to this stage. I'm sure that's something you don't miss as a manager having to go through those qualification stages. No, no, but like when you're in a run of form that they are, um, you know, it just builds confidence and, and beating teams from higher um, divisions and that just, just generates that around the group even more. So that's definitely what they'll be looking to do. Uh, they're in a really good position in the league. Um, they've got a big backlog where they've played so many cup games or of, of league games, which will really put them in a, a, a good position if they can get some momentum and I'm sure they'll be looking to to do that Saturday at home in front of their fans um, you know and like I say it's, it's a great opportunity for them as well so yeah we can't just uh, assume we're going to turn up and win the game by, by stretch of the imagination it's going to be a real sort of um, a, t a tough game like the pitch is probably going to be heavy with the amount of rain that we've had um, so, yeah, we've got to go um, and really insert ourselves in, onto the game and, and, you know, leave everything out there and do all we can to, to try and um, get into the next round. Looking at the squad going to that game, who's available and who might be missing? Um, yeah, we've got a couple of loan lads that have gone back now, their loans are finished. Um, so, Luca Woodhouse and Liam Vincent, um, loans are finished. Um, but yeah, we was missing uh, Jordan the other night. Um, he was ill on on Saturday and then struggled to make it down on Tuesday. So um, yeah, he's potentially going to be back. I think Jake's still struggling a bit with his hamstring. Um, so you know, we're not one that we're going to rush there. Um, obviously, the the other guys are a bit more longer term. Sort of, uh, Glenn's still probably about three weeks or so away. Um, and then yeah, Alex and, and and Aaron a bit more longer term. So yeah, this the, the, the squad is is um, with the amount of games we've got coming up um, is a bit 
threadbare at the moment. Um, you know, there's no getting away from that fact. So, yeah, we've got to, we've got to look at it and, and see where we are. Because one or two injuries, then you know we, we we're going to be light on numbers. But um, you know, that's the whole reason that we've got um, these lads out on loan as well, getting minutes for us um, and getting game time so that they're they're ready when called upon um, to to come and step in and and do a job for us. So, yeah, um, I think we'll be definitely looking at the squad and, and see where we need to improve over the next week or so and you know it might be that we need a couple more bodies in just to just to help us out um like i say just to shoot weight again saturday tuesday now i think for four or five weeks and that's if you get through in the trophy and you're lucky enough to have another another game in it then you know obviously take priority over another game so make another game on a tuesday night i've already got got a range western supermare on a tuesday night now so yeah um we'll look at the squad um but yeah like we're a tight-knit squad of 16 17 at the moment that we've got available um which i think has helped at, at times um in terms of getting a bit of togetherness um so yeah it's important that we recruit well i think our recruitment now in the next um month or so is going to be really important for us what do you think the most likely route will be for that recruitment? The two boys, loans ending, does free up a couple of spots there, or do you think you'd go for something more permanent? Um, no, just looking at us, I think like with Glenn Ray missing, with Aaron Racine missing, um, you know, I think we need uh, a bit more physicality um, throughout the side. I think it's quite evident when you see the two teams line up at the moment. Um, you know, the, the lads are competing brilliantly, um, and it's probably not the reason we're losing games. Um, but, you know, we still need a bit more physicality and strength and yeah we, we want to start getting a, our own players in now and getting players that are coming with us on the journey and um, are ready to to step up we, we've got to start looking players that are ready to come to the National League that's where we want to get to um, you know whether it's this season next season the season after that's got to be the aim got to be the target um, you know but firstly it's competing in the, as a top six club at, uh, at this level and um, that's that's the recruitment strategy we've got to be looking at players that can um, fit that sort of mould and, and are ready to come with us into, into the National League when that time does arise.